Hello everyone. Today we have a new job. It's a Lenovo IdeaPad 110. As per customer, he said that uh, the laptop doesn't give any sign of life. Here's the power button. Yeah, and nothing comes on. Maybe the battery is discharged. Let us see. Turning on the power supply, putting it into 19.5. Where is the charging port? I think it's a normal one. This is it. So let us see. That's not a normal one. It needs the thin one, yes. Oh, did you see the power supply? It's giving me a big short. Okay, so we have a, a very big short on the board. I'm going to open the laptop and we'll see after that. Now, so the laptop is open. Let's remove the cover with the battery inside. Okay, now let us test the main board. Turning multimeter into continuous mode, diode mode. And we're gonna check as usual some coils, yeah. Uh, where can I get a negative? Do I have a negative over here? Yeah. So great. So we're testing. Good. 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 Yeah, great. Good also. Here we have nothing. Good. Good. And good. That's a good sign. So that means that none of the components are defected. So let us uh, test the main power rail. And here we have. Let me zoom in a bit. So what we are going to test right now is the main power rail. Uh, actually, let's test those MOSFETs. Those are the input MOSFETs. Here we have a short. This one is shorted out. Here we have a short. Go here. Nothing. So uh, yeah, this is the input MOSFET. This one is the input MOSFET. And uh, let us let us test. The main power rail to see if it is shorted. So the main power rail is, yeah, I have a short on the main power rail too, right? This one is not, yeah. This resistor is the current sense resistor for the battery. It's okay. But what about this one? So, as first, let me remove this MOSFET. Yeah. 
So in order to test more, I'm going to here we as we have short over here. So I'm going to this probe is shorted. I'm going to remove this jumper. Those capacitors are good. No? Yeah? Right. Let me remove this jumper first. And we'll see what can happen next. We are good. Let me just test the this one. Is it shorted? No. Do you have short over here? No. Here yes, we still have short over here. How about yeah, this one is short. Definitely short. So there must be something on the other side of the board. Now the board is out. We yeah, still have something attached now. Okay. Moving the case away. Do we have anything wrong over here? Well, uh, no, that doesn't seem so. Checking those capacitors are good. This one is good. What about this one? Okay, we have a problem over here. So let me apply some voltage on this. Capacitor lowering down the voltage to one volt. 1.2 volts. Okay. So let me apply some motion over here. Applying voltage on the each side of this the capacitor. No, the problem is not here. Let me put it on three volts. Okay, and uh, what about? I don't know. Is my probes? Yes, this is one. Right, and here we have taking about one amp. Perfect. That means my thermal camera should detect where is the heat. Nothing. Nothing over here. What about here? Nothing also. We sense anything over here. There is never anything. Nope, not yet. I will find it. I should find it. So let's apply more voltage. This is normal. Those are normal. Normal over here. Can it be over here? Taking what? 36? Totally shorted, you know? Here I have component, a capacitor, but I don't like the color. Where is it? This one. What about this one? Could it be this one? Okay, I'm gonna apply the voltage and see it with my thermal camera, hoping that I can find the 
respective parts. Do we have a you see, yes, my target can see. Come on, my button is out. No, it's a good, it's good. Great. So, let's see. And you see the Russian is evaporating. So, uh, okay. Let us remove this component. After removing this capacitor, testing the main power rail, do we still have short? And the short is gone. We will see in a moment. So we still have a short. Now this is ground. And this is the main power rail. Yeah, the short is gone. All I need to do now is replace this capacitor and this MOSFET. Mos this MOSFET also is reflected. You see? Sorry. Uh, yeah, so it's shorted. I'm gonna find another one. Yeah, so I made uh, after a little bit of search. I found this MOSFET. Let me show it to you. And about the capacitor, the defective capacitor, I just found a donor board. It's an old defective board. Uh, I'm going to remove the capacitor near the main power rail uh, sector. So, beginning with replacement. So after replacing those two components, so uh, let us test for short first. First, let me board is still hot. Okay, usual meter light. Let's see if there is shortage. First, let us test this. MOSFET, it is good, testing the main power rail, also it is good, great, let me clean the board a little bit, and we are good to go to continue our repair, clean the board a little bit, from flux residue, and I should not forget to resolder this Jumper. I'm resoldering the jumper now. Okay. Clean the other side of the board. Now the laptop is reassembled, applying voltage 
the laptop the laptop is charging right now taking about 0 0.7 or 750 milliamps that means it's charging fine no problem found until now turning on the laptop the laptop is on giving me a picture yeah and the laptop is and the laptop is charging as you can see right great and it's loaded do you have any password yeah we have password and yeah the laptop is on this charging is taking about the needs to fully charge i don't know maybe the windows didn't boot up quite right okay the battery is full you need about 10 minutes to fully to fully charge what about i remove now the charger yeah great the battery is charged so i'll say uh, this is it like and subscribe if you like the video thank you for your support and i will see you on another job bye